हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर राजाराम ढोक फ्रॉम सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी एफिलेटेड एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट ट्रस्ट शारदाबाई पवार महिला कॉलेज शारदा नगर बारामती लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट दी coordination chemistry lecture 5 in this lecture we studied about the equilibrium constant for formation of complexes so in the formation of coordinate complexes we know that there is need of metal and ligand when metal and ligand combines with each other then there is formation of the complex so this formation of complex depends upon certain factors that is the concentration of that metal concentration of the ligand and so for that purpose we see that how that equilibrium constant depends and so that is called as formation constant and also the equilibrium constant for that purpose we take example and from that example we can understand the concept of equilibrium constant so in the different examples we use different ligands so in the aqueous complexes in the aqueous medium we use the water and that water acts as ligand that is the aqua ligand and this water forms complexes with that metal and form the aqua complex with that metal and for that purpose we see the certain reactions we take the nickel sulfate compound and that nickel sulfate is dissolved in water when that nickel sulfate dissolve in the water then that nickel and h2o ligand forms a coordinate bonding and there is formation of complex so we write the reaction niso4 plus 6 h2o because nickel has coordination number 6 so we take the 6 ligands and so 6 h2o it gives nih2o6 so4 so this nih2o6 so4 this is an aqua complex in this aqua complex when we write some ligands other ligands which is stronger than aqua then that aqua ligand is replaced by more stronger ligand like ammonia and it forms ammonium complex or ammonia complex now for that purpose we add in this nih2o6 plus 2 complex ion ammonia excess of ammonia so again here coordination number is 6 so in writing the reaction we write 6 ns3 so we write reaction nih2o6 2 plus plus 6 ns3 it gives ni ns3 6 plus plus 6 h2 so in this reaction h2o is replaced by ammonia ammonia forms complex with metal and it forms ni ns3 6 2 plus complex ion and water molecule is replaced here ammonia replaces water or water ligand and forms more stronger complex now here one important thing why this ammonia replace that h2 so it depends upon the concentration and it depends upon the strength so here ammonia is stronger ligand than h2 so ammonia replaces water molecule and forms the nickel ammonia complex now for this reaction we write the equilibrium constant equation so we know that or already we have studied the equilibrium constant reactions or how we can write that 
that equilibrium constant is generally shown by the letter k. So we write the equation k is equal to concentration of the product divided by concentration of reaction reactant. So here when this NiH2O6 plus 2 combines with ammonia then it gives the product NiNH3 6 2 plus and H2. So this is the product and this is reactant. Now this reactant combines with each other and there is formation of product and equilibrium constant of this reaction depends upon the concentration of rea uh, product divided by concentration of reactant. And so we write K is equal to concentration of NiNH3 6 2 plus into concentration of H2O6 divided by concentration of NiH2O6 2 plus into concentration of NH3 raised to 6 and this value comes to 10 raised to 8. So here we use the water ligand and water is present or we use the water in sufficient quantity, excess quantity. So concentration of water is taken as constant and when this concentration of water is taken as constant then at that time we write the equation K is equal to concentration of NiNH3 6 2 plus divided by concentration of NiH2O6 2 plus into concentration of NH3 raised to 6 and that is equal to 10 raised to 8. So in this reaction K is called as formation constant or that is also called as stability constant. And if the value of K that is the high then such type of complexes is called as more stable complexes. And if the value of this K is comparatively less then that is called as less stable complex. Now we see the types of formation constant means when there is metal and in that metal we add the ligand. So how that ligand is added and how it forms the product depending upon there are two types of formation constant. So in the formation constant of the coordinate complexes in the equilibrium process we can write the systematically or by taking certain example. So there are two types one is stepwise stability constant and other is overall stability constant. So firstly we see the stepwise stability constant. What is stepwise stability constant? And the stepwise stability constant is denoted by the letter K1, K2 or up to the KN. So in this case, the formation of complexes in the solution that proceeds by stepwise addition of ligand into the metal. Means we take the metal and in that metal we add the ligand stepwise. Means one ligand is added again second ligand is added, third ligand is added, fourth ligand is added, fifth ligand is added. In this way we add n number of ligands and by adding this what is the formation constant and how that formation constant is observed. So we write that different reactions step by step. So firstly we take that there is we take the one ligand metal and in that one metal we added one ligand. So that metal plus ligand it gives the product ML. Means when one metal combines with one ligand then it's formation of product ML. And for this reaction we write the stability constant K1. So for first reaction we write K1, for second reaction we take K2, K3 up to the Kn. So we see the K1. So K1 is equal to concentration of ML divided by concentration of M into concentration of L. So this is the first stability constant. 
Now this ML is the one product and we write in the second reaction ML as it is and in that second ligand is added. When second ligand is added then we get the product ML2 and for ML2 we write the stability constant or formation constant K2 is equal to concentration of ML2 divided by concentration of ML into concentration of L. This is the second stability constant or K2. In the second stability product, we add again third ligand. So we write this third equation ML2 plus L, it gives ML3. So ML3 is the product that is obtained by addition of the one ligand in the previous product. So we write the stability constant or formation constant for this third reaction that is K3 is equal to concentration of ML3 divided by concentration of ML2 into concentration of L. In this way, we write again fourth ligand, fifth ligand, sixth ligand, seventh ligand up to the nth ligand. So when last ligand is added, then how we can write the reaction? So here we write the n number of reactions. So here that all the reactions are not shown. So we write the last reaction ML n minus 1 plus L it gives ML n. And for that what is the stability constant that is the K n is equal to concentration of ML n divided by concentration of ML n minus 1 into concentration of L. So in this way here K1, K2, K3 dash 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 up to the Kn, these all are the stepwise stability constant or stepwise formation constant. So we get that formation constant or stability constant. So the quantities which is in the bracket that represent the activities of the enclosed species and a stability constant that is a measure of extent of association means when that stability constant is more or less so these are the theoretically so when we take the actual quantity then we get the idea that which is higher which is lower and from that we can say that which is more stable which is less stable but here we see the only the expressions that what is the stability constant so we see these different reactions of the stepwise stability constant now we see the overall stability constant and that overall stability constant is shown by some other notations and for that instead of the k we use the notation here beta. So all other reactions are same only we see the use other notation and other process. Now what is by overall stability constant? So overall stability constant means we take the metal and in that metal we add required number of ligands means if one ligand is necessary then we add one ligand if we requires five ligands then directly five ligands are added instead of addition of one one so generally in the laboratory we done the different experiments so at the time of titration we add drop wise solution sometimes we add directly 1 ml 2 ml 5 ml 10 ml that is the overall and drop by drop means that is the stepwise. So by adding the dropwise or by adding at a time or overall what is the difference in the reaction, what is the difference in the product that is the same we see here. So in this second type when we determine the equilibrium constant then in that we add successively that particular quantity at a time. and the formation of the complex obtained by that that is called as overall stability constant and we can show again same type of reaction that here we take the one metal and in that metal we have to add only one ligands that we add one ligand and the product obtained is ml and we say that is the beta one stability constant is beta one and so Reaction is same that is concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant. So beta 1 is equal to concentration of ML divided by concentration of M into concentration of L. 
Now second reaction, in that second reaction we should add there is one metal and in that we add directly two ligands, directly three ligands, four ligands, n ligands. So in this way we have written these reactions. So M plus 2L it gives ML2 and for ML2 stability constant equation beta 2 is equal to concentration of ML2 divided by concentration of M into concentration of L raised to 2. In the third equation, we take one metal and directly we add the three ligands. So we get the ML3. And beta 3 is equal to ML concentration of ML3 divided by concentration of M into concentration of L raised to 3. By the same way, we add any number of ligands, that is n number of ligands. And for that purpose, we write equation m plus nl is equal to mln and that stability constant is called as beta n and for beta n equation is equal to concentration of mln divided by concentration of m into concentration of l raised to n. So in this way we write the equations for the overall stability constant. Now we have to see that what is the difference between overall stability constant and stepwise stability constant? When we use the stepwise stability constant method or overall stability constant method, then what is the difference in the stability of that coordinate complex? And for that purpose, we take one equation out of that both methods, that is beta 3. So in the overall stability constant, the third equation beta 3 is equal to concentration of ML3 divided by concentration of M into concentration of L raised to 3. Now to this beta 3 equation we can multiply both numerator and denominator by concentration of ML into concentration of ML2 and we write this equation by rearranging. Now we see in this equation, in the numerator and in the denominator, we can multiply by this function that is concentration of ML and concentration of ML. So we write this equation beta 3 is equal to that's as this is then concentration of ML into concentration of ML2 divided by concentration of ML into concentration of ML2. So when if we multiply and if we divide by same function, same value, then there is nothing change. And so by multiplication or by division, there is not any changes. So only we can rearrange now beta 3 is equal to concentration of ML, concentration of ML2, dash 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 concentration of MLN. Then here, we write the concentration of M into concentration of L. So here L3. So we write this L3, L separate, separate. One L here, one L here. And concentration of ML N minus 1. So only we rearrange this. And rearranging, if we see this concentration of ML divided by concentration of M into concentration of L, then that is value of Q1, which is seen in the stepwise stability constant. Then you see second concentration of ML2 divided by concentration of ML into the concentration of L, this is the value of K2. Like that, if we see this value, this is the value of Kn. Means we see that here, beta and K both are the same. There is not any difference that when we add the ligand stepwise or overall, then there is not effect on the stability constant. Only these are the difference in the method, but stability constant remains same by both methods. And so from this we can understand or there is conclusion by stability constant, by stepwise process and overall constant process both are same. There is not any effect on the stability of the complexes by process or by any method.